What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So what we're going to be doing today is really exciting. It's going to be the start of a whole new series of videos. So what we're going to do today is an unboxing, set up an initial review of the SkyTrack golf simulator system. So if you haven't seen my other video that I just recently posted where I gave you a quick little walk around my basement and explained what I was going to be doing to the basement and what my future plans were for the golf simulator, go check that video out because it gives you a lot of explanation. But today's video, I'm just going to be testing it out on my current golf practice net area, but there will be a higher end simulator coming down the road. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing and get this video started. Okay, so what we got over here, again, I just ordered this online. I will put links in the description of where I got it. Okay, we got the HDMI cord here. Looks like to a, probably like a USB-C. That's what it kind of looks like there. So we have the cord for that. Okay, and here, is going to be the metal bracket system for the sky track i made sure to go ahead with that because again if you happen to be looking at the sky track you probably have already seen this it goes for around 150 dollars, but it's worth the investment because when you look at the amount of money you're investing in the sky track monitor for 150 bucks more to have a metal cage that fits around it and protects it from you know stray golf balls or just a stray swing maybe a friend or a family member swings wrong and they crack that with a club at least the metal cage will keep that protected and then we have what's really important which is this okay there we go. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a brand spanking new SkyTrack golf simulator. Now, these typically run about $2,000, and then this is about $150. Now, again, I did put some money down on this, and then I financed some of this. So again, if you have the full amount of money to pay for the whole thing, great. If not, they do offer financing options for this as well. So without further ado, let's get these boxes open. Okay, so now that we got everything unboxed, this right here is gonna be your SkyTrack cage. So obviously your SkyTrack monitor here is gonna fit in from the back. It's gonna mount in with the included hardware. There's actually hardware legs here. So if your uh, hitting surface is not quite level to where you're standing, there's little adjustable legs that could raise this up or down off the floor. So that comes with all that and you got your instructions for that. Over here, you have your SkyTrack. It's gonna have the plastic screen cover, so when you're ready, you can just rip that off. So looking around, here's on the front, here's your sensors. They're gonna send all the information back to the computer module here. Let's see, uh, let's see your power button on the side. You got your charging port there. Nothing really on the back. Nothing really on the bottom, except for the areas where you're gonna mount it to the cage over here. So that's pretty much the SkyTrack monitor there. Now let me just go over real quick why I chose the SkyTrack. Now full disclosure, I am not sponsored by any of these products or any of these companies. These items are bought with my own money and I'm giving you my true honest review and opinions on these products. So I was looking at the OptiShot too, mainly because it's one of the least expensive golf simulators out there that does seem pretty good. And what I've read on it, it's probably the best bang for your buck for that $300 range simulator setup. It does come with a couple basic golf courses, but from what other people have said about it, it's not that accurate. It's a little bit over-exaggerated. A lot of people were saying that they, uh, the OptiShot was showing that they were hitting their shots way longer than they normally would. And then when they compare it to the SkyTrack, the SkyTrack was much more accurate. So that was one reason I didn't really like it because I'm trying to get back into golfing. I didn't want something that felt more like a game. I wanted something that was a higher end game, but actually gave me the technology needed to get better and stick to it. Okay. 
And also when you look at the OptiShot, the actual computer sensor is on the floor and you put your ball in the middle of it and your club, as it hits the ball, passes over the sensors and it's registering your club, okay? But the problem is, if you misjudge your swing and you hit the club off of that sensor, you're probably going to be breaking the sensor. So knowing that sometimes I have some rogue shots and my kids don't always swing uh, properly and they have some rogue shots going on, I didn't want to spend the money on the opti shot because I truly felt I was going to break it in no time. So moving on, we went to the sky track. The SkyTrack is a good bit more money. Again, this whole unit here is about $2,000, about $150 more for the metal cage setup. But from what I read, if you're looking for something with really, really good accuracy, great software programs that can really mimic the more expensive simulators, the SkyTrack's one of the best ones to go with. So once you open up the box, you got your SkyTrack monitor here. It does come with a quick start guide and some information on it. And it does have, looks like a charging brick here and your power cord here. And again, it also came with this USB charger here as well. Now I did order this off of a company. Uh, it's called allsportsystems.com. I'll post the link in this video and I'll put it in the description. Now the SkyTrack does come with basic software as a driving range. That's all you're gonna be able to do is hit on a driving range, but you will need either a laptop or your phone to be able to see what it's doing, okay, at bare minimum. Again, you can hook this up to a projector and do the whole full simulator screen, but at very bare minimum, you can actually hook up your phone or a laptop to this and start playing right away, even if you're just hitting into a net like that over there. But back to what I was saying, this comes with basic software for the driving range. I do get a 30-day trial of a game improvement software, which gives you additional features in the driving range that allows you to track the ball and ball flight tracker and all kinds of other different things. So I will be activating that and we'll play with that in a little bit. And then once I get the simulator set up, installed, we're then going to be looking at some higher end software to download and purchase at that point that'll give us full courses to play, which that'll be a future video. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, open up the quick start guide, just familiarize myself with what's going on. I'll connect the SkyTrack to my laptop. We're going to get it registered and activated. But for today, let me get this thing turned on and registered and let's get this going. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is just go on to your iOS device or your laptop or computer and download the actual SkyTrack software, which is free to your particular device. Once you do so, you want to set up your own account, which I've already started here. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. This is basically what the main screen is going to look like. And once you actually create an account for yourself, which I've already done, you can actually go in here and do some pretty cool stuff even prior to hooking up your SkyTrack. So for example, I already went into here, started my own setup to where you can go in here and, and choose which your dominant hand, when, whether you're left or right, whether you want all the distances measured in meters or yards, speeds, I already got that set on miles per hour, got all that set up. Then you can, once you start playing this more and more, there are gonna be other options, but I already went in and created my bag what you do is you go up here and manage bag. You'll see here, I've already set up all of my clubs. You just click add a club, type in what the club is, whether it's a driver, three wood, hybrid, iron, whatever it is, what brand, what model, and you can actually upload all this stuff. So I've already went ahead and, and uploaded all of my clubs into this particular software. So let's get out of here and let's go back to the main screen. Now what's also nice about this SkyTrack is that it actually does have a rechargeable battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can turn this on, see if it has any juice. But let's see if it actually picks it up and go from there. So let's go ahead and see if we can go down to here and see if it'll pick up SkyTrack. Yep, it did. So we're gonna go ahead. Now keep in mind, I already have the SkyTrack on. I hope it still keeps working because I do not have it plugged in yet. So let's go ahead and click on SkyTrack. Uh, let's just go connect for now. So let's go ahead and connect that. So, because the first thing we want to do is actually get the SkyTrack to connect to the home Wi-Fi. All right. So it already says it's 
checking license files. All right, it says I have 15 days to register it. Okay, so it looked like it paired up pretty easy. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and register it. So just click on your name in the top right corner, go down to here to the about, and then let's see if we can get this registered. Register device. But let's go ahead, plug the cord into the back of the SkyTrack. We're gonna plug it in right here. We're gonna do network mode, let's go next. Let's just start with network mode for now. And then we can always adjust these settings at a later date. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the middle one. Scan for networks. Okay, here's my network there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, type in my password. All right, so it's connecting there. It says, wait until this middle yellow light stays yellow, which we did. Close this window. Okay, it's doing everything. Currently in network mode. All right. Let's just go down here and try to register this device. Now registered. Okay, that easy. Exit out of there. There we go. So we started off pairing this to be able to pair it to the software. Then we actually plugged it in through USB to the laptop to go ahead and connect it to the laptop. So now if we go right here to practice, it's gonna be loading up the basic software and determining graphics and there we go. So now we are into the main driving range screen. Now again, this right here is the very basic driving range that comes with the SkyTrack. Today, we're just gonna try to get this set up. So once we get the actual SkyTrack put down on the floor next to the practice area, we're gonna try a few shots out and see how it goes. Okay, so I went ahead and I actually got the SkyTrack mounted into the metal cage system here, which is pretty simple to do, to be honest with you. Uh, all you do is slide your SkyTrack in from the back. Obviously, you wanna make sure that every all the ports line up to where they're supposed to. On the very bottom, there is three screws. There's one right there, one there, and one there. They come with the metal kit. They just screw to the bottom of the sky track, which mounts it in there. Then you take the three legs, which is right there. There's one, two, three, and you screw them in from the bottom facing up. And then they do come with these little rubber top tabs so that you obviously don't scratch yourself or bump it. And it does come with this little round level, which has a little bit of the 3M tape on the back. You peel that off and stick that to the very top. That way you know that wherever you put your SkyTrack, that's how you know it's level. And then if you are putting this, let's say in a garage where maybe your floor is, a slight, is slightly uneven, uh, or maybe in a basement or wherever you're at, if the floor is slightly uneven, the, the level is gonna show you that. And then you could just adjust these three legs by twisting them out or in to get yourself in level. So that's all you gotta do. It's super simple and easy to use. And then when you're ready to use it, you pull it over here, you drop it on your floor, and you're good to go. That's basically what it is. So let me go ahead, plug it in, get it turned, get the actual screen turned on, and then we're gonna just hit a couple basic shots. We're not gonna do a whole lot of shots, we're just gonna do a few because I don't want this video getting too long. So you can always go back in, read all of the instructions in further detail, play around with all the settings and all the different little menus you can do. Um, the goal of this video was just to show you the unboxing, how to get it connected as quickly as possible, get it mounted in its metal cage and get hitting as quickly as possible. So let me go get this turned on. I'll be right back. Now, because I'm hitting off of a net, you don't have to worry about lining this up so much. But once I do over here, get an impact ready screen hooked up, you do wanna pretty much line this up. 
you want to find your center point of your screen and you want to make sure that your dots line up to your center point and there's a whole way of doing that which we'll do in another video today's video is just to show you it's simple and easy now what is nice is when you are playing a right-handed and a left-handed player if this was unplugged let me just unplug it okay all you do pick it up move it over there and then your left hand player can hit their shot when it's up for you again you pick it up move it over here hit your right shot you're good to go as long as you set up your your players in the software once you set them up to be a right hand or left hand it'll automatically know where to adjust the laser dot which is super cool okay so now that we got the sky track over here on the floor, you can see the red dot right there on the hitting mat. And obviously my screen is straight ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and click practice. Now, I am connected wirelessly, which we did in the initial setup. Here is the original screen, how it's going to look. Uh, you can actually go in here and see all of your different specs on the shot. This is again, the basic driving range. Click right here in the middle. Now, in the initial setup, when I created my account, I already created that I'm a right-handed golfer. I've already inputted my clubs. So let's just go ahead and let's go with a seven iron. Okay, so now it registers that I have a seven iron. Let's go ahead and pull the seven iron out of our bag. And you'll be able to see me walk right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a ball on the red dot. Okay, as you can see here, I'm just using, I don't know if you can see it here, but I got my seven iron here. This is actually a uh, tailor-made Sim 2 Max. So it's a good handicap club here. If you guys ever wanna see a, a full bag review of what I have in my bag, I'll be glad to do that for you. Okay. Let's just get our first shot off and see what we do. Here we go. Let's try the first shot using the SkyTrack monitor. What are we doing here? So we definitely hooked it. Eh, I didn't get a full swing on that. 41 yards. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get another shot here. There we go, that felt good. Ah, still a little bit of a hook there. Not too bad. About 129 yards on a seven iron. It's not great, but it's not too, too bad because again, I'm not giving a full swing. My main goal of what I'm trying to accomplish is just practice my backswing, my follow through, and just get my body flexible to swing better because again, I haven't golfed in really 20 years. I've only been out a few times at the golf course before I started getting this in-home simulator. So the point of this simulator is really to practice from home and start getting my flexibility and my swing back. So let's try another one. Okay. Give us one more shot. How'd that one go? Eh, a little better. Carried it a little further. Still hooked it. 154 yards. Eh, let's see here. You can see 154 yards, 141 carry. Launch angle, 18 degrees. Backspin. See how that one went. I hooked that again. Okay. Okay, let's try another one. Man, I'm hooking them all day today. 
probably mostly my grip because I've been struggling with my grip lately. So either way, let's try changing clubs. Let's try a pitch and wedge. Where are we at here? Over here. All right, let's see what we do on a pitch and wedge. Again, I just want to show you how you can change the clubs even on just a basic driving range. Still a little bit of a hook there, but you can see it kind of came back. 73 yards in the pitching wedge. You know, not too, too bad. How's that one? Yeah, hooking it again. About 102 yards on a pitching wedge. But again, the whole point that I want to show you is that how you can just easily change the different clubs you have in your bag. Again, right now I'm just sticking to mainly my irons because where I have my net against the wall, if I drive too hard, it'll actually push the net back and bounce the golf ball off the wall and ricochet back. So I really try to avoid a lot of my drivers for now until I can get my impact screen. Let's can change this to a nine iron. Okay, let's hit a shot with a nine iron. All right, let's see if we get something here. How was that? Still hooking it, jeez Louise. 122 yards, carry 110 on a nine iron. Are you on that one? Ah, still a hook, but a little better. 110 yards, 97 carry. That felt pretty good. I got some nice height on that one. There, ain't too bad. 126 yards, 118 carry, 24 degrees launch angle. That felt pretty good. Okay, but at least what I wanted to show you was just how fast and accurate the sky track is. As soon as your club passes through that red sensor, let me show you something. So the red sensor right here on the ground is where you need to place your ball. That right there is taking basically photographic imagery of your club as it passes through this part right here. And using state-of-the-art technology, it's calculating your ball speed, your carry flight, your club speed, all that simultaneously while sending it to the application on the simulator program. So again, this is definitely a really cool program. Uh, even just playing around with out of the box, the basic driving program. And again, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, once I get my basement finished and I turn that area over there into a theater slash simulator room where I can put my 9 by 12 high impact screen, get a projector on the wall and put this image up on a big giant wall and really start cracking at those balls, it's going to be a lot more fun. But for right now, I'm basically just using the sky track on an artificial turf right into a basic net that's just hitting the padding on the wall behind it. But so far, my initial impressions are, it seems extremely accurate. It seems like it computes all of this information extremely fast. And just so you know, I'm running all this wirelessly. The SkyTrack is sending a wireless signal to my laptop and both are basically connecting to my home Wi-Fi, where the closest router is upstairs on the first floor. So keep in mind, if this was all hardwired, if I actually had a hardwired network cable in my basement connected to the computer, hardwired to the SkyTrack, it would probably be even faster. But just running it wirelessly, I'm really impressed with how fast it is computing all of that technology and sending it to the simulation software. I'm extremely blown away with that. So, so far, my initial impressions being that I just opened this up 
I just hooked it up and I hit my first few shots. It seems pretty accurate because I know I have not been hitting accurate out at the golf course. So that's why I need a simulator. Now again, with my work schedule, a lot of times I'm coming home late at night where I don't have the opportunity to go to a golf course. When I am off, which is usually two days during the week, when I am off, I have other things going on or when I do get a chance to go to the golf course, it's been raining or the weather hasn't been very cooperative, so I haven't been able to go. But I want to golf and I want to start golfing more and more and getting better. So that's why I'm going with this simulator. And again, it's gonna get even better when I finish the basement and install the much larger nine by 12 impact ready screen and get a projector hooked up and we can actually play full golf games. I'll be doing reviews and all that. Today's video was really just more of an unboxing, a quick setup and initial review of the SkyTrack, which so far it's super easy to set up. It's an amazing piece of hardware and incredible software. I think it's really accurate so far. And again, I already know I'm not hitting good. So for it to pick up that I'm not hitting good, that tells me that it's pretty accurate. Now again, I am not a professional golfer. I'm not some PGA Tour Pro like you see on YouTube, these guys from Britain and, and, and England and all this stuff that are doing these videos. They're leaps and bounds ahead of me. I am just your normal guy that likes golf, that's trying to get into golf and get better at golf. So if you wanna watch some videos on how I'm gonna grow my golf game, stay tuned to the channel and subscribe because we're gonna do exactly that. So that's it for today's video. We went ahead and did an unboxing. We did a quick setup and the initial review by just hitting a few balls. I like it. I think it's a fantastic piece of hardware. I feel very, very comfortable not hitting the machine compared to something like the OptiShot where I already know I'm gonna hit the ground and probably break the sensor at some point. I really like the SkyTrack. I'm super excited to get this simulator build going. Again, my channel at this point is not gonna be about pro golf tips. There are other pro golfers that give you tips. That's not me. I'm more of the average guy that's trying to get back into golf and practice and get better. And as I get better, I wanna film that progression so I could pass some of my tips and tricks on to you as I learn them. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely stay tuned. So that's it for today's video. Do me a favor, like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out. And it shows me that you're interested in the content that I'm putting out there for you. And it just encourages me to keep doing more and more videos, which I will be. So that's it. I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you, and as always, see you in the next video.